Hey guys, so we're back again and we went over dollar cost averaging and now um, Michelle wants to basically buy back into the market, but we're gonna hopefully tell her not to put in a thousand dollars into one asset class. <laughs> Instead, we're gonna talk about how you should dollar cost average into this market. So right now, Bitcoin's at 6,100. How much money do you feel comfortable putting into Bitcoin or how much do you want to um, invest? Yeah, so I think um, right now I could probably do a like um, 5,000. Okay, so we're going to cut that um, into half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's okay. really good. Okay, by the way, uh, we should just go on another <laughs> tangent of like how you have so much disposable income because most millennials are broke and it is pretty I'm funny. lucky. So wait, let's, let's clear this up. You work in HR for who? Yeah, yeah. I work for a bank. What bank? Mm -hmm. Opus. Opus Bank. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, and let me guess, so you probably don't have rent. Is that why you have so much extra income? Yeah, I don't have rent. I don't, See, I have like, smart millennial. I have hardly anything. Please, people, if you're watching my channel, be like <laughs> Michelle. If you can't buy real estate, if you have family that will let you live with them, you should live with them as long as you can until you can buy real estate or convince your siblings yeah. that are living with you to buy yeah. a property. <laughs> To help, and then, yeah, and then that's move out because paying rent is the biggest waste of money, and this is why mm -hmm. Michelle was able to invest a thousand dollars into crypto. And she just stated it right now. She's twenty five years old, and she wants to put in another five grand. So uh, you should have yeah. your own YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Spin off, so man. This is really cool. Like I said, that's really, really <laughs> impressive, man. That's some big money. Thanks. So uh, that's great. Yeah, so, yeah. It's um, okay, yeah. I so, feel lucky. That I so, can. so let's just go ahead and say you want to do five five thousand. So I'm going to say you mm -hmm. should do five hundred dollars a month. Okay. And so okay. what we should do is you should just commit to putting away five hundred dollars into crypto. Now this is a really bear market. So if you want to be more aggressive, go ahead. Let's just say you want to do a thousand dollars a month, okay? And you're gonna split it up mm -hmm. every week, right? There's four weeks. So if you're gonna be doing that, it's about two fifty a week you wanna buy in crypto. So what I would do okay. is set up your Coinbase Pro account so you're not paying six times the fee. And you know what, guys? We started this entire video series for me to show her how to use it because we're going to do something called limit orders. Do you understand limit orders or stop loss orders or no? Uh, no, I never heard of it. So this is very important, especially if you're like Michelle. You don't really need to use this stuff if you're investing under a thousand dollars. So if she didn't just state that she wanted to invest five grand, I, <laughs> I would say this is something you can do later. Like I would first just buy some crypto, like she has done on Coinbase. But once you're buying more, I would say more than five hundred dollars worth. But you can even go up to a thousand. You should switch to Coinbase Pro, and you should only use limit orders to purchase crypto. And we're going to go over that in the next video. So our next video will cover uh, limit orders. So uh, thank you very much for watching and we will talk to you soon.